What is going on guys? Mike with Chit Chat Gaming. So in the previous video, I talked about how I was going to you know, give you guys my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077. Now a lot of people probably don't care what my thoughts are, but I've been very, very hush-hush about this on, on social media, on Twitter and such. I've been very, very hush-hush on this because I've been waiting for CD Projekt Red to do the right thing, release updates, which they are doing. But I want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts about this game here, which is a very, very controversial game at the moment it's been removed from the playstation store for the playstation 4 which makes sense because if a lot of people are buying it um they're finding out that it's definitely not the game that they had thought it was going to be so i definitely understand why it was probably taken off of the base console stores even though it's still available on the microsoft store still so i've had a lot of fun playing this game here and first of all the physical copy they nailed it picked up 49.99 at walmart for this thing here it's got so much cool stuff inside of it. It's got posters, it's got stickers, uh, you know, um, sorry, postcards, stickers. It does have a big poster as well too, the map. I um, mean, it's got, it's two discs, first of all, as well too. So it's just really cool. They did a lot and a lot of cool stuff for this actual, you know, standard box copy. So definitely give them props for that. But I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. Definitely has its flaws. I've been playing on the Xbox One X. Unfortunately, I don't have a Series X or a Series S, so I can't tell you about that. But what I can do is tell you that on the Xbox One X, it still definitely has its problems, but it plays a lot better than what I've seen on base consoles. Now, the crazy thing is that this game probably shouldn't have been released. Uh, I'll be honest with you. It probably should have not been released on base consoles in, in, in the first place. It just shouldn't have. If you check out the videos like on Digital Foundry, they do an awesome job of kind of breaking down the game, doing the FPS count and everything as well too. Um, you can see very, very clearly that you know, the game barely reaches, you know, 20 frames per second on base consoles. I saw it dip down to like 12 and such, and that's just not, that's not going to work, guys. That's just not, it's not doable. Um, it's not playable. Um, so it's very, very hard to play this game on those particular consoles. That's on the PS4 in the original Xbox, you know, the OG Xbox. Now on the Xbox One X, it still gets up there in the mid-20s. I think I saw like 27 or so forth. I never really saw it. I think it hit 30 a few times, but either way, it was well below 30 frames per second, which that makes me appreciate the Nintendo Switch in all 30 FPS games at this time. A lot of people harp on the Nintendo Switch saying, well, it can only get 30 frames per second. Yes, yeah, some games can get 60. 30, I'll take because a steady 30, a locked in 30, because this here dips well below 30, especially in some scenes with a lot of combat and such. Man, I ran into a lot of issues where it was like, down the 20s it's been really crazy now i got about nine hours into the game i've had more since but i have about nine hours in the game um i finally experienced my first crash um i was just getting ready to walk into um i can't remember what it was i think it was one of the buildings i can't remember exactly where it was here but was it oh, cloud or clouds is it but anyways i was getting ready to walk in and um yeah the game just randomly crashed it took me back to the, the home page on the uh on the xbox so that's the only time I ever experienced a crash. Now, other than that, I've experienced, like I said, lots of frame rate, uh, frame rate drops and such as well too. But man, I was really looking forward to this game though so much. I mean, ever since they announced it at E3 to the 2019 E3 announcement with Keanu Reeves, man, that really, really got me going. And then they kept pushing it off, pushing it, pushing it. I was like, okay, well maybe that that's a good thing. I'm not one of those people that look at you know uh, delays as being a negative thing. I look at delays as being that they definitely need more time to work on this. Now, this probably could have been delayed another few months i mean hell maybe even another year who knows but again though i just i had a lot a lot of expectations on this game here especially from cg project red now when they released the witcher 3 it had its bugs as well too so we gotta keep that in mind here and they worked on it now i think that with the with cd project red i think that what they're going to do is they're with the reputation and stuff they want to keep the reputation so i really think they're going to keep releasing these you know these new patches and stuff and I think that eventually we'll get to where The Witcher 3 is with this game here, I hope. But will it be too late? That's hard to say. I mean, for me, it probably won't be because I've actually put the game down for a little while. I've been having, like, I've been having a lot of fun, you know, just going around through the city, um, doing missions and side missions and such here, trying to level up, trying to get my street cred up and everything else, trying to get some money, new weapons, new cars. I've been doing the story as well, too, which has been very, very good. I've actually really enjoyed the story. But again, though, there's lots and lots of issues. There's one part I can tell you really quick here. It's a, it's a bug. Sometimes bugs are funny, right? But in this particular game, it's not so funny because they happen all the more. So uh, there was one scene where I was uh, sitting in the restaurant and uh, 
I was talking to Johnny and right behind him was the waitress and she had her little tablet or her little menu and uh, it kept like glitching in and out and going all over the place and it was just like, it looked so goofy. I was laughing my butt off the whole entire time. It was one of the kids eating the hamburger right behind Johnny there in the restaurant. And there was one part too where uh, he was smoking a cigarette. Every time he smoked, he went like this. The cigarette was like all over the place. There was like four or five cigarettes that he, when he went like this, it kept glitching and it would get stuck and he kept going back and there was like cigarettes all over the place. And that was, I would laugh my butt off on that too. So again though, the game does have its flaws. The game does have its bugs. And I hope to God that they work on this game here because I really, really want to play this game on my Xbox One X here, um, here sometime soon and have a lot of fun with it. Now that also leads me into saying that they have announced our rumors are starting to you know, come out, starting to fly, that Halo Infinite, which is another big title that everybody's looking forward to that has been, has been delayed as well, may not be coming out for the base consoles, um, or the base console, Xbox One, Xbox, um, what, Xbox One S, um, Xbox One X, I don't know. But maybe it's going to be just an Xbox Series X, Series S, you know, uh, release, an exclusive, which makes a lot of sense, which I think would be a good idea. Um, I think that's what we're going to start seeing moving forward. I think it is time to move forward here. You know, obviously with Nintendo, you know, on the Wii U, they brought out, you know, uh, Breath of the Wild. You know, of course, it was a swarm of Switch game. But again, though, eventually you kind of move everything towards your new console. It's going to be that time. I don't think we're going to see Halo Infinite on base consoles, that includes like the Siri or the Xbox One X and such. I think it's going to be Series X, Series X, Series S moving forward, which is exactly what this game should have done. I mean, look at Godfall on PS5. It's not on the PS4. There's going to be PS5 exclusives moving forward here. So it's that time. we got to start moving forward. I feel sorry because I'm one of the guys, I don't own either a PS5 or a Series X. So yes, I'm still stuck here on the last gen or last gen. So I definitely need to get in the times here. So I feel you guys' pain, but it is time to move forward because otherwise we're gonna keep getting issues like this. So let me know down below what you guys think of this. Have you picked it up? Are you giving up on it? Are you gonna keep definitely plugging at it if you own an older console? You know, even the newer consoles are still having issues. I mean, you're getting, you are getting 60 frames per second on the, uh, all right, 60 FPS on the new consoles, but you're also getting the option to be able to choose on a locked FPS, on a locked 30 FPS, which is great. But again, though, still has lots of flaws, even on even on the new gen consoles as well too. So, like I said, let me know down below what you guys think here, and yeah, I definitely want to hear what you guys your thoughts are, whether or not you guys think this game is going to die or not. So, make sure you guys like the video here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on that bell notification. Keep updated with all things that is Chit Chat Gaming. And once again, this has been Mike saying, Happy gaming.